Hello, you two. This is William. Okay, let's talk about the Blackbird. Uh, for the past, well, over 24 hours, it has been just crazy. Crazy. Um, thank you so much. You, the the um, response to the Blackbird has just been unbelievable. And um, I thank everyone for that. I thank... Um, Everyone who has promoted this thing, Blackie and everybody else, that uh, it's just, I mean, the response has been overwhelming, really. Uh, without you guys, um, I, there wouldn't be any need for me. But I have listened. Uh, I have, uh, there has been, I, I lost count on how many emails <clears throat> I've received and complaints that I have received that I tried to buy it, it was in my cart and it was gone. <laughs> and these the the first run sold out in uh, like 12 minutes the second run of 35 sold out in 10 minutes and there are still uh, i get emails about every 20 minutes of how do i get one where do i need to go to get one when is the next run that type of thing <clears throat> so um here's the issue I have to have plate steel in order to get the blanks water jetted. Um, that's the only way I can keep up production, keep the cost down. If I use bars, then it takes too many setups to to do uh, the water jet blade cuts, and the setup is what cost. I mean, um, that means the person setting the plate on the on the machine and dialing in everything, programming it, and all this other stuff because you have to program it each time you put a plate on it. So that's what's costed. Uh, so you try to get the as big a plates as you can get and get as many blanks out of it as you can get the only people that that supply blanks or plates big enough is new jersey steel that i have found for aebl um <clears throat> so i went on their website to prepare for another run and they're out uh, five thirty seconds is gone so i called them and they said maybe the fourth quarter maybe um, the problem is this deal is coming from Germany and everybody knows what's happening in Germany and Europe in general right now. So AEBL is pretty much out of the question. O1 has been out of the question since back in uh, December. I've been trying to get uh, 530 seconds on one plates and just can't get it. <sighs> so <clears throat> had to do an alternate steel. Did a... Um, live show yesterday just kind of get you guys' input on this situation and what you felt and um, all this other good stuff and um, while I was talking to the guy in New Jersey I asked him if he had uh, what he would suggest as far as an alternate uh, of AEBL and he said hands down Nitro V and I've been hearing a lot of good things about Nitro V so uh, I t we talked about that last night if you watched that video and and um, uh, we we uh, well, actually, I don't know when this video is going to post, but we talked about it uh, Monday night. Let's put it that way. And if you hadn't had a chance to watch that video, go ahead and watch it. It's about an hour long. A lot of good stuff on there. Had, had a great time. We'll do another live one soon, and I will do a uh, heads up uh, notice on that so everybody can get the questions ready, and we'll have a good time. But uh, anyway, we talked about the Nitro V, and my basic question is, has anybody heard anything bad? And no, nobody had heard anything bad. And I haven't either. It's all been good. Now, as explained in that video, I don't have time to be testing knives and making sure that the, that it's going to meet my standard of of reliability. I think it. Everybody else has been just thrilled with it. The issue that I don't know about is the recoverability. How easy it is to sharpen. Now, uh, most folks. They love the CPM steels. They love all this other stuff. So, I mean, it, I don't expect it to be as easily recoverable as, say, AEBL was because the K2 pro properties in AEBL is not in this Nitro V. It has, <clears throat> and you you can look up the, the metallurgy on it if you want, but it has a different compounds of, of, of uh, steels in it. Uh, it and so... Um, the claim is that this Nitro V is AEBL on steroids. So, it, um, like I say, it, it has a lot of great reviews. It is a very well-known steel. 
Now, I can get that. And the pricing on that is very uh, compatible with AEBL. Uh, I think it's, um, uh, just have to put a pencil to it, but I think at the most 10 bucks additional for the uh, Nitro V per knife. Um, maybe five, I had to put a pencil to it, but it, it's just, it's not, it's negligible, the, the, the cost difference on it. Um, so I can get that, and I, um, I can get 3V. I can't get 01, okay? Um, the 1000 series of steels just doesn't work with my system. So, I mean, that's better suited for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, um, forges and things like that. Kilns, not so much and with my, my setup. Okay, so I, I kind of stick with uh, with the CPMs and the higher end steels for for my, the way my setup operates, cryo treating and things like that. Okay, <clears throat> so here's what I'm going to do. I, I mean, either way, if I do another limited run or a special run, it's going to be 90 to 120 days before I can even think about getting blades or knives posted on the website for a special run. Okay. And I don't really know how many people are going to be interested in the AEBL or the uh, the Nitro V versus the AEBL and the, and the the uh, 3V. So here's what I'm going to do. That way, nobody has any problem with somebody taking it out of their cart. They everybody has a chance to to order one. I'm going to put it on the uh, Production Knives webpage. Again, whether it was a special run or if it's a production knife, the weight is going to be the same. So this way, everyone knows that they have a blackbird coming, okay? Uh, rather than trying to roll the dice and get something uh, during a frenzy, all right? So that is the only way that I can figure out to make this thing work. And there's been several people make that suggestion uh, from the video, uh, the live video. And I think that's probably the best answer. Um, that way, everybody gets a shot at it. Everybody gets, uh, gets to at least put one on order and get one um, uh, the other way it's um, I mean if I made 50 I don't think that they would last more than 15 minutes to be honest with you um, but with that said it is a production knife they will come without any numbers on the blade it will have the WC and the Blackbird but that's it it won't have any numbers on the blade the backside will have the type of steel I'm going to offer this as a production knife in 3V and I'm going to offer it in Nitro V for the stainless version. Okay, handle materials will be the standard green, black, and natural canvas micarta with brass pins. It's going to be a basic production model. Okay, um, I will offer the Sure Touch with this caveat. Uh, uh, offer a green, orange, and blue Sure Touch option. And according to whoever is, is how, how sales go on this, I'm going to try to get as much of it pre-purchased as I can. But, but, um, know that SureTouch is done by one company. And if for any reason that company decides they're not fabricating anymore, and I run out of what I've pre-purchased, and it comes down to your blade, you may have to go back to a micarta. Okay, that's the problem with getting specialty handles is, especially in, in large runs like that or, or production runs, is they may not be able to, to, to meet the, the, the supply may not be able to meet the demand is what I'm saying, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and if that happens, uh, SureTouch is about 10 bucks higher than my Carta. And uh, so if that happens, of course, I'll, I'll refund you the, the uh, additional $10 and you'll have to choose either a black, a natural, or a green micarta to get your knife finished, okay? But like I said, depending on how sales go, then I will I will try to make a guesstimate and pre-order enough sure touch that I think is gonna cover it. I, I'm gonna try, okay? But I just gotta put that little legalized clause in there and say, what if, you know, because, you know, it, who knows with the Crow V right now, um, with the, the COVID-19, who knows what's going to happen. Um, a lot of the things that I'm ordering, it went back order for a while and they're starting to release up a little bit, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Everybody is short-staffed. I'm short-staffed. Everybody else is short-staffed. So 
Uh, but this is the only way that I know of that's going to actually get you a blackbird. Okay, it's not going to be the pretty ones. And if if time permits, and at some point down the road we may be able to do another special run, a third special run, but at least people can start getting a blackbird uh, in, as a production knife. Okay. So I hope I hope that this this is. Um, um, takes care of, of a lot of this because I, I've i never been indebted uh, this much on a knife model in, in since I've started. <laughs> uh, everyone really likes this Blackbird and, and, and rightly so. I mean it's a very nice knife, a, a very uh, unique knife, a, a very versatile knife. It just it's a beautiful knife. It's, it's a great design. So. Um, until the next one, uh, if you guys don't know where my um, my production knives webpage is, go to my website wcknives.com. Across the top on computers is a, is a menu, or if you're on a, a cell phone or a mobile device device, up at the top right hand corner, there's three hashes. Touch that, and there's a menu drops down. Click on knives, and a sub menu will drop down, and you'll see the production knives webpage there. Touch it, or click on it and uh, you will see the production knives and uh, as of this video there will be an option to order a uh, production blackbird okay and the picture on this is going to be just a standard picture from a file but you have you will have a choice of black green natural canvas micarta handles with brass pins or blue orange and green sure touch okay so uh, these pictures are going to have a two on the blade but you will not get a two on the blade you will get a blank blade with wc and the uh uh bird and no numbers all right production knives do not have numbers except for the serialized um, wcsk that one has numbers the rest of them do not have numbers all right Okay, till the next one. You guys in the backyard with a little stick, take those children that are out of school, that you homeschooled them now, and school them out in the backyard on how to build a fire, how to whittle on sticks, and how to roast weenies. Get them in love with the outdoors. And if you do, be sure and take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. To all you healthcare workers, hats off to you. Thank you. Appreciate everything that you guys are doing right now. And uh, we'll catch you guys again soon.